My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to frost your images in Photoshop. Okay, so here we have our image, uh, and we're going to make it look frosted by going to Filter, Distort, and into Glass. And this brings us into the Filter menu. Ooh, that looks good. Wonder who did put that down. So we're gonna. So we can see all this stuff. So, uh, so now we're gonna kind of mess with stuff. Now we have uh, the different textures, uh, things that we can do. We have like a uh, blocks and uh, which kind of is a block blur, uh, canvas, so more canvas like. Knock down this distortion so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, teeny lenses, which are kind of little small bubbly things. But we, what we want is frosted. So we're going to mess with these uh, uh, different options. Uh, how much distortion we have. This is with a zero distortion and this is with 20. Uh, very darkly on there. Uh, or very, not darkly, but it's a very variable. Uh, nice and frosted. Uh, there's also the smoothness. Just kind of smooth everything out. Uh, kind of looks more kind of glazed, like if it's uh, water droplets on your window. And even smoother, it just kind of knocks it down until it looks uh, like nothing has happened at all. But we want something to happen. And then there's the scaling, which uh, adjusts how big or small the texture is. So this is a lot finer at smaller, and this a little bit bigger. Very little difference with the frosted texture, though. You can see it more with. Uh, Things like the blocks, which uh, makes it big blocks versus small little blocks. And invert kind of inverts everything to uh, things that it pushes up. It might push down to, with the distortion. And uh, hit OK. And this has made it kind of nice and frost, frosty. And now I'm going to show you a technique to make it a more icy frost. Uh, if you want to make it kind of look more like frosted glass, so even more frosted, like uh, where it's uh, kind of a, looks whitish uh, because of the light refraction, uh, you can make a new layer and uh, we're going to fill it with white. And you can just kind of uh, knock down the opacity and just kind of look like that. Or you can even uh, add a little variation by uh, going to filter. Uh, add noise and kind of adds a little bit of variation to that white. Maybe knock down the variation a little. And so it just kind of adds a little bit of that. So it kind of looks like that. So, either way uh, that you want to do it. My name is Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.